Hey, how's it going? Jeff here at Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. So today we were, uh, or yesterday I was installing, removing, installing flatulate acid and putting in six volt AGM batteries into a uh, Duffy 18. And uh, I was doing my best to use the cable that the old batteries had. I just got to, I thought this was funny. So here we have an old positive, main positive cable. And I, I can see the creativity here where someone decided to use a zip tie to look at this lug oh my gosh this thing is a goner dare not use this oh my goodness Can you imagine the heat this thing is going to produce so that i'm just going to really show you really quickly when you're in the field and if you're able to uh we're going to cut this cable and inspect the copper and then re-lug it here so uh stay tuned and let's let's get on it grab some cable cutters and go ahead and remove the old lug nice clean cut and now we're, we, what we want to do is go ahead and strip off some insulation. We're going to get ready to crimp on a new lug. And so pretty much right now, it's a good time to start to figure out what size lug are we going to use. Um, if you're lucky, the outside of the wire insulation is going to tell you, with a bunch of other numbers, what the actual gauge is of this wire. Um, the Duffy is using a four AWG wire, and so we're gonna find a four gauge lug to go with this. Now, I also wanna inspect the copper. Is this copper in good shape or does it have a lot of corrosion? I like to flex the cable and make sure I don't hear any crunching sound. Crunching sounds would indicate that there is corrosion crawling through the wire. So once you've selected a lug, it's probably important to grab the bolt that it's gonna pass through and make sure it's gonna work with that particular lug. Before we crimp the new lug onto the cable, we want to cut some heat shrink and stick it over the cable uh, before we do the crimp. This particular pair of wire crimpers I actually purchased on Amazon, and they're pretty good. They're not the most expensive. I'll put a link down below if you decide to check them out. It, it is nice. They do indicate the wire gauge on the, uh, the teeth of the device, and you have multiple selections by depressing the set pin there you can rotate the teeth to adjust to the cable gauge now it's time last to use a heat gun and heat up the heat shrink it'll collapse around the lug preventing the corrosion and any straight copper strands it, notice that i'm using a tin plated copper lug in a marine environment 